Hello. Welcome to my uh, video here in my dual voltage motor series of videos um, where we're going to talk about a wide dual voltage motor. In this case, we're going to connect this motor up for a low voltage connection. All right, so these motors come a nine lead dual voltage motor. Uh, it's going to be good for two voltages, either a high voltage or a low voltage. In this case, we're going to talk about a low voltage connection, which means we're going to be taking the windings inside this motor. This is a Y motor. Uh, you can check out my Delta motors as well in the playlist. Um, but this one, we're going to take these windings and because we're going low voltage, we're going to put those windings in parallel with each other. So this can often be called a parallel connection as well. Now what I want to do here, I want this T1 and T4 winding to be in parallel with my T7 and what would be my T10 winding. Now because they're going in parallel, it's really important that we keep the polarity matching so that current flows through them the same direction so that I can ensure that uh, rotating magnetic field stays constant. So now if current is flowing into T1, I also want it to be flowing into T7. So I'm putting those two terminals in parallel with each other. Okay, so T1 and T7 are in parallel with each other. Then we're going to do the same thing around the whole motor. If current is flowing into T2, I also want it flowing into T8. So those are going to be in parallel with each other. Same thing over here. Current flows into T3. I also want it to flow into T9 at the same time. So those are going to be in parallel with each other as well. So I'm going to make those connections over here really quick. Uh, T1 to T7, T2 to T8, and T3 to T9. So that's step one in my connections. Now step two in my connections is I need to make a Y point or a star point with T4, T5, and T6. So I'm going to bring those together and connect them up together. So I'm just going to go T4 to T5 and then T5 over to T6 and connect those up into a star point as well. And then I'm going to make that connection over here. Now these here are just uh, imitating my, uh, my leads hanging out of the junction box on my motor. So I have nine leads just hanging out of that junction box. So those are what those connections would look like there. Um, thanks a bunch for watching. Just a kind of quick video to talk about this low voltage parallel connection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.